Hey, this is Mike Johnson, and what I'm going to show you is the Social Review Engine plugin demonstration. Introduce you to this one of a kind plugin that can really take your traffic and sales to the next level on your sites, no matter what kind of marketing you're, you're doing online marketing, offline marketing, affiliate marketing, it doesn't matter. Uh, local business, it doesn't matter. This plugin can do it all, and it really will help you increase the amount of traffic and sales on your site. Now what we have here is a demonstration site where we're showcasing the integration of the Social Review Engine plugin with WooCommerce uh, and the new WooCommerce 2.0 and as you scroll down the site here you see a regular WooCommerce product here but then you see we have the review engine inserted in here and what we have here is the normal description for a WooCommerce product and then you see the reviews. This is the social review engine. Now, everything can be customized here. All the colors, uh, what's written here, there can be additional content here. Uh, once a reviewer comes in, they select their rating, they write the review, and then they select how they want to connect with your site. Click Submit a Review, and it helps them connect to this site to leave a review, and then what you get is the reviews here then when additional people come to your site they can also agree with the reviews and once they do they connect with Facebook as well and that gets posted to their Facebook wall now if a reviewer reviews and connects with Facebook that review automatically gets posted to their Facebook wall with the exact message picture link that you want them to have. So it doesn't even have to be the same page that the review came from. It can, doesn't even have to be the same website. It can uh, be anything you want. Once they submit a review here, through the review, review submission process, you also can have a success message, and that success message can be based on the rating. So if somebody leaves you a two-star review, that you can give them a message saying, please contact support, or you can give them a free gift or whatever, trying to make them a happy customer as opposed to giving you a bad review. And if it's a bad review, it will not get posted to Facebook from the user. But same thing goes, every time a review is submitted, you also take advantage of viral actions of the plugin. And those posts are reviews are automatically posted to your Facebook fan page wall and your Twitter account but once again you can control this based on the star rating and say I don't want anything below a three star rating to be posted to Facebook and Twitter I only want four and five star reviews posted to Facebook and Twitter so you have those options it's a tremendous amount of flexibility and then everything down here can be customized also, in display options, as we scroll down the page here, you can see there's multiple ways to display the reviews on your site. And you see the plugin takes over also the CSS formatting qualities of your theme. Your WordPress theme has a specific format. You can see here, this blends right with the site, and that was with no additional customization. And you can see here we have latest reviews, top rated products, and then we have individual product reviews as well so you really have a lot of options with how you display your content on your site and if you look here at the WP social site where we have one of our plugins for sale here on the on the play, page here we also have the uh, social review engine and here we're only using Facebook as our review method so you don't even have multiple options here you see here how we customize our title we customize the content here, which you can do a lot more with that as well, links, video, whatever you want to add. Uh, submit the rating, submit your review process through Facebook, and then you get all the comments like this. And you can see here people have agreed with the review, agreed with those reviews, and interact with content. And then there's a pagination effect in here as well, it allows you to say, okay, we're only going to show X number of reviews per page until it goes to a second page. So there's a lot of options there. Then you can also see that, for instance, on our home page, we also are showing reviews via, via short codes. And, and here we have our slider function that allows you to put reviews into a slider if you want to, anywhere you want on your site. We also have 
additional display options. Oops, sorry, wrong page. Here you see we have our latest reviews in a sidebar widget as well. And you see how it matches the site's CSS or theme. And that done, it's done automatically. We didn't do anything special for that. Now all this can be controlled in the back end of your site. And you see here w, the uh, review engine settings, it creates a custom post type where you actually can have post types that are called reviews where you can set up your own categories for reviews and tags for reviews, etc. You don't have to use that. Any custom post type, any page, any post, you can use this plugin on. But with the custom post type, you just have uh, more flexibility in your options. Now, here we have the uh, general settings where you can see we can hide options for different users. We can delete options if we want to delete the plugin off the site. But here's where we add our Facebook information for connecting, our Google Plus, our LinkedIn. And here we can manage all the different social networks that we're using in WordPress itself and the order that they're displayed on our site and how they want to look. We can select or deselect ones that we do or don't want to use as well. And your Twitter options are in the social posting functions you only have one place you have to input them you put your Twitter information and then up here is your Facebook information for posting to your Facebook fan page fan page itself okay now but you can see here as you scroll down through the settings that there are just tons of customization options and you can enable guest reviews you can enable reviews on all different kinds of post types you can select individual reviews but then you can also go in to the uh, individual posts and pages themselves and enable reviews there on a post by post, page by page basis as well. And here you can use categories as well if you have a list of categories. You can see here's where we have our WooCommerce integration. You can check to do automatic in integration and then you can also choose if you want to have actual WordPress comments on the same page as your reviews or not. And you can also manage this at the post level as well. Now I showed you already our uh, social posting options, but then our review engine options themselves are where you get into the color scheme, customization down to the nitty gritty of everything to include the actual wall message that's posted on Facebook when somebody submits a review, uh, the agree message as I talked about, don't post a message below this star rating as I had already talked about, error messages, success messages positive and negative for positive and negative reviews and you can really really work this stuff down at the on in the individual post level as well so um, you can see all the options there and then when you get past that you get into the email functionality where you get emails sent to you when a new review is posted and the user that submitted a review you can have them get an automatic email from you as well and then you can collect email addresses of all your reviewers to your favorite mailing list whether it be Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp, uh, Constant Contact, etc, etc, etc. You just post that opt-in code here without CSS formatting and it will do it automatically. Users will never even see an opt-in form and you can have here to ha let them know they're being uh, added to your mailing list by having a checkbox on your page. Now. Beyond that, you can also, for advanced users, add custom CSS to where you can manipulate the design of how the social review engine is displayed on your site along with your custom content if you are an advanced user. Now, for all the reviews and whatnot you receive, before we get down to the post and page customizations, you can see all the reviews that were submitted, whether they be pending <coughs> or already approved. You can see here where we can import WooCommerce reviews. If you've already been using the WooCommerce reviews functionality, you can import them into the social review engine. Um, you have charts here that show you the reviews you received on what platform the most. And then you can see an actual list um, that you can also um, work with to see all the reviews, the ratings for each item, total reviews, and then by social network where you've gotten the most reviews from. So there's a lot of functionality there. Now if we get down into the actual uh, post functionality down at post level, you can see here 
that we have a setup where we can use the editor rating which means your rating on the site you can then select multiple criteria for your reviews you can have multiple different criteria so you could say speed price effectiveness quality and then have different ratings for each one and manipulate that and then if you decide to change that you can easily delete them out and manipulate that you can select how you have it positioned on the page and then customize everything that you want down to the font color on the site tons of different things that you can add there's a box that you can put on the site as well and show the custom uh, look of the reviews and whatnot and do all that and then it just like I said everything else here is just tons of customization and then you can also display Google Maps on your reviews as well for any kind of local business listing or whatnot but then you get down into the review engine settings themselves for individual users on your site and all the things we already talked about in the previous settings you can do here on an individual post basis all the customizations can be done by page by post with a wall message for Facebook posts right here as well the custom title custom link custom caption custom content everything the agree message and then here's where you can really add rewards and give people rewards for uh, submitting reviews in your site because you can literally put anything in here using the what you see is what you get editor from WordPress and whether it's a coupon code you can have uh, social sharing links here asking them to share the review after posting it etc so now you can also then take care of negative reviews when people submit a negative review underneath that specific star rating we talked about before you can add in uh, things to say you know hey come back to the site or here's a free gift we hope that you know we can take care of you better next time then find out why you didn't like the product whatever you need to do for reputation management through that success message for negative reviews and then like we said before as well the custom admin emails the email sent to the users for submitting the reviews all that and then you can decide if you want to allow comments or not on a post or page basis as I had said before so you can really see how there's such a massive amount of customization that goes into the social review engine and your ability to use it so beyond the tra traffic it generates the sales it generates from the trust of the users visiting your site and people knowing that they, they signed in from a social network and are real people with real reviews just like amazon.com you had the ability to fine-tune everything here and take it your business to the next level with the social review engine